Hey guys, Orange Juice here, and today you might notice something a bit different. Look around, ooh, it's all fancy, high quality, 60 FPS hopefully. Did, did, you, did you know that I uh, stuck to my word and I got a new graphics card? Yes. Very interesting. Well, anyway, hopefully this all goes well, because if it doesn't, I'm going to be sad. But yeah, this is Scrap Mechanic, if you uh, couldn't already tell. Um, yeah, I did a video about this a bit, kind of, and well, the quality wasn't as good. So yeah, I'm just going to have, have a little fun day and post something about Scrap Mechanic, because it's... it's yeah, it's pretty fun. So, I'm gonna talk about a bit of logic gates. Um, logic gates, if you, if you don't know what they are, are real life stuff where you can kind of program program things. And so, yeah, just gonna talk about that. This is just gonna be 100% for fun because I'm just testing out some recording software right now um, and the quality of that. So hopefully it all goes well. But today I'm going to teach you how to make um, a lot uh, like a, a lock, a memory lock, as I call it. And you might be wondering what logic gates are. So basically, there's there are these things that take inputs and like output um, something. So I'll just go over the basics. So, and, uh, if all the linked triggers are active, so if all inputs are active, and then, yeah, I already went through this in a previous video, I, th I think, but, yeah, you can just read it over again, or if any of the inputs are active, so basically, if, if this parameter is true, then it'll give an out uh, output, X or, um, if only one act or uh, active inputs are, well, here, I'll just give an example of that. Because just new, new software, so it'll be fun. That's X4. Ooh, it turns on. Oh, it turns off because there's two inputs and it doesn't like that. Oh, it's on now, and so that is X or and um, if any of them are inactive, um, if all of them are inactive, and then if an even number are active, this is actually. Yeah, this is, yeah, okay, yeah, alright. So I'm gonna teach you how to make a lock, and basically a lock just holds storage or memory or whatever. So, for example, this, it essentially turns this button into a switch. Kind of. Kind of. Um, it, it makes these two buttons into a switch. So I'll show you what I mean. To so say you had... I'm gonna name this guy Bob, and Bob is nice. Bob just wants to be loved. And so, when he's loved, he's happy. Um, so, I'll just connect all of these to this. And you can see I'm connecting the, uh, connecting the output into the input of another logic gate, which you can easily do. And so, so to make a lock, um, there, there are many ways to make a lock, but I go with this one, especially in Scrap Mechanic, um, since it's just better to me. It um, makes it so that there's, there's. Let's see, I'll explain this a little better in a second. There's locks that consist of three logic gates, but they are kind of glitchy in this game, so I don't go into that. And so I created my own here. And so basically, what you want to do. Let's just start off. You just have four basic like this, and then you connect this one here. As long as you have a triangle of some sort, or a loop, then you should be good. So this goes into here and here. This is a loop, um, and if you could connect two logic gates to each other, and have this going to here and this one going into here, then, then well that would be a perfect world, but it's not a perfect world. Sadly, so... Um, basically we'll set this one to nor, so if all of them are inactive, or I think, um, so let's hook it up, as you can see when you press a button it turns off like so, and that's, that's really all 
all there is to this part. And then over here, we just set these to OR because this is, uh, that will turn on your lock and you just connect your next button to any OR gate. But not this one, because this stays AND. Um, you'll see in a bit when I press this. Turns on. Ooh, look at this guy. He's happy. Happy, happy day. Now you can stay happy until you press this button and then he becomes unhappy. He's still happy, he's just not as happy. Um, so essentially what's going on here is that this is sending a signal to this one. It's like, alright, I'm, um, I'm sending a signal to you. If you just have one more signal, then you're gonna be on. And so this is where this switch comes in, and it's hard to tell, sorry, I'm gonna connect this one to this one to make it a bit more clear that this is connected to either of these OR gates. So then, um, you press it, this turns on, it's like, ooh, I'm on, I'm gonna send an output to this one. Oh look, this has two signals! Oh! Oh, I'm gonna turn on! Alright, so it's like, oh, okay, I'm turning on, and I'm sending, um, an output this one right here and then this one just sends it over here so it creates a loop of outputs and that's what keeps it on but when you turn this one off then this one's like oh no I lost an input I'm sad I'm turning off uh, in, in simple terms so yeah and then this is turned off and then it becomes sad and then this guy becomes less happy it's as simple as that that is essentially a lock and yeah, uh, I'll hopefully, maybe, might not, maybe, I don't know, school equals kind of sadness, um, more videos soon. So yeah, bye.